In this demonstration, we're going to expose an Oracle database using ORDS to expose REST services on tables in the database, and then we're going to build a Visual Builder application on top of it. Over here, we have our database. We have a table in the database. We're looking at it from SQL Developer, and in SQL Developer, there's an option called Enable REST Service. When you choose that one, you can provide an object alias, you can enable REST operations on it, you can add authorization if you require this, and simply clicking finish will create a REST interface on top of this table. Once you created this, you should be able to go to your browser and use a URL like that to access the data through a REST request. So the URL would have your server name, ORDS, schema name, and your business object name. And as you can see here, we are getting information from the table, including uh, two rows right now, and then we can see the specific data for each row as well inside here. Okay, so we can see uh, there's a department in New York uh, called Sales, for example. So the interesting thing to know is that in recent versions of ORDS, they added support for open API uh, documentation for the REST service. So if you'll add over here the words open API catalog, you'll get metadata about the data that your is exposed to REST. Okay. So we can actually leverage this inside Visual Builder. So let's copy this URL, go to Visual Builder and define a service connection. So instead of defining by endpoint, which is what we've done in the past, we can now define by specification and use a Swagger Open API specification here. Paste the URL to your Open API endpoint for your business object. Again, if you need authentication, you can add it over here and simply click Create. This creates the REST service over here. You'll see now that we have all the endpoints that are exposed available for you immediately over here. One thing I would recommend you'll do is go into the GET method, okay, get the GET endpoint, and test it to make sure it actually works, okay, and save an example response from this into your response area. So now we're ready to actually build our application. So I was just starting to build a mobile application here and we'll build a departments application. We have a list component over here and we can use the quick start to add data. When we click add data, we'll be able to see our old REST service, pick up the get endpoint this would get us multiple records. We can choose the layout that we want to have. So we'll show the ID, the name, and the location for each department. And this will create for us a page that lists the department from the database. And now we can add, for example, a create page. Again, note that we already know all the information that is required about the fields um, and the structure. Let's also add an edit page. Edit page would use two endpoints. One of them would get a specific um, record and the other one would update it. Again, we can choose which fields to show. Click finish and now we have a full application. Let's run this, see it in action. Get a list of departments over here. We can add a new department. Choose department two, which would be in San Francisco. And this would be the finance department. And we'll click save. And the data is updated in our list now. One more thing to mention, if you want to be able to do things like search, um, queries, uh, sorting, and things like that, you would need to add a transform option to your REST service. So if we again look at our service over here with the various endpoints, there's a transform area 
that allows us to specify to Visual Builder how to do filtering and sorting and pagination on an old service. And in order to do that, we simply add um, a piece of code here. I have a sample of this in the other blog post that I did about ODs and Visual Builder. So I'm going to copy the code from here and paste it in here. Okay, let's make sure it's green. We're good to go. Let's go back to our application and we'll add a search option at the top of it. What we'll do is we'll take an input text component and place it right here at the top of the container. We'll bind this to a new variable. And then we can define a filter on the service data provider we have here. We can use our advanced builder here to ask about whether the location contains anything from our search variable, add another condition and say, maybe the name contains something from our search variable. We want this or that. And again, if we'll go back and run our application now, We'll be able to go up here, type for example, new and find New York. S would give us San Francisco and sales. 